My name is Iwata. <laughs> I'm about making games. <laughs> and I'm about playing games. Last night, I played Super Smash Brothers. Yeah. That's my game. I kicked some you know what. <laughs> and I took his name. His name was Reggie. <laughs> As Nintendo president, I'm also all about asking questions. So Reggie, I have a question for you. Who's your daddy? <laughs> Good morning and welcome. As we at Nintendo continue to explore the future of video games. Now I know many of you today walked in with numbers already swimming in your heads. 360, 16 by 9, 1080, 8.2 gigahertz. Well, we'd like to add one more number to the mix. And that number is two. <laughs> As in two billion games. That's the number of games Nintendo has sold since we entered this business 20 years ago. Today, you'll see a new game dimension on Nintendo DS. Today, you'll begin to understand how our revolution is preparing to storm the gates. But most of all, what you'll see today are the first steps in delivering our next billion games. So enough numbers. Let's move over to your right brains, way over into your right brains, to talk about an application for Nintendo DS that doesn't just create its own genre. In fact, it may not technically be a game at all. Because electroplankton should more accurately be considered a creative tool something that not everybody will understand, but many who do are mesmerized. They can't put it down, because for them, creating is at least as much fun as competing. Now, before we move beyond the portable space, I want to talk about two more examples of how we're using portable gaming to expand the total universe of game players. The first is Mr. Miyamoto's latest pet project, Nintendogs. Now, the first thing you have to do in Nintendogs is go to the kennel and pick out your dog. So I picked out a pug. She's a girl. I named her Mia. 
I want to introduce you guys to Mia. And you let me know how cute you th that you think she is, because I think she's adorable. Oh, there you are, girl. Oh, playing fun for the audience. Come here, girl. Come here, Mia. Hi. Oh, good morning. Good morning, Mia. Now, the first thing you want to do before you start training your dog is show it a little bit of love, right? OK, can you say hi? Say hi. Good girl. That's my girl. Yes. My one question is, who would have a puppy with a Mario hat on? <laughs> Tina, I want to know how do you like my Nintendogs? Mr. Miyamoto, I am a huge fan of your Nintendogs. I hope you're not mad that I was showing it off, but Reggie actually made me do it, so. <laughs> no, it's all right. Even serious gamers should have fun with their puppies. Absolutely. Right now, my Shiba Mario is teaching you a pug Mia some new tricks. I see that. She's doing very, very yes. well, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's quite happy. Well, Ms. Miyamoto, I think our dogs have become very good friends. <laughs> and this has been, oh, look at the hands. <laughs> oh, he's very good at yeah, handstand. Don't worry, Mia. <laughs> yes. Look at Mia can't do it quite yet. But this has really been a blast. I really appreciate it. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> They're good friends. <laughs> Some books. <laughs> I did not teach her that, by the way. I just want you to know, so. Now, I said we had two more examples of the future of portable gaming for you today. And here's the second. Now, I know you haven't seen this. It's Game Boy Micro. Game Boy Micro, just a hair bigger and about two-thirds the weight of an iPod Mini. But this little package plays every Game Boy Advance game you own. What's most important are the new games available to play on your Nintendo handhelds, new games just like these. a new Game Boy, and new games to play on them. And now you say, you want a revolution? Well, we've got one.
This is a Nintendo Revolution prototype we have with us for meetings this week in Los Angeles. Clearly, Revolution is by far the smallest console we've ever manufactured. Let me assure you, there is no mystery to the development of our core technology. When you turn on Revolution and see the graphics, you will say, wow. The controllers will also be very unique in ways we will share with you later. We've already created the best group of game stars in history. So you will certainly be seeing them on Revolution. Next generation versions of Mario and Zelda are already underway. We also have a big plan for Metroid in our revolution, a franchise that has evolved constantly with each appearance. And with revolution, some will take you places you've never gone before. Revolution will act to create entirely new genres to expand the definition of video games. We have designed Revolution to be a virtual console capable of downloading 20 years of Nintendo content. You will be able to purchase great games originally created for NES, Super NES, and Nintendo 64. It is accurate to say that Nintendo Revolution is technically capable of playing virtually every Nintendo console game ever created. So here's a quick tour of what's just ahead. In Battalion Wars for GameCube, we've combined action, strategy, warfare, and third-person shooting in a novel way. You must save the world by clearing over 20 missions. But guiding the troops has never been easier. By seamlessly blending action-oriented gameplay with real-time strategy, Battalion Wars lets you command entire squads at the touch of a button. Slip behind the wheel of a powerful tank, a helicopter, or a fighter jet. Or show your foes the business end of a bazooka, a flamethrower, or a rocket launcher. Whatever your strategy, you've never experienced battlefield action like this before. Now, Pokemon returns to GameCube in a major way, with the impending launch of Pokemon XD, Gale of Darkness. This game embarks on a whole new adventure, a full-fledged RPG. A dark and sinister plot sets a serious tone for this mega adventure. But that's just as it should be, because Pokemon is serious business with over 140 million units sold worldwide, and the recent release of Pokemon Emerald heading straight to the top of the sales charts. Players can look forward to bringing their Emerald and other Game Boy Advance battles to the big screen in 3D by connecting to Pokemon XD when it launches in October. Capcom is delivering a game that developer hero Yoki Kobayashi describes simply as blood, swearing, and mayhem. Killer7 is unquestionably unique and mind-blowing, a storyline revolving around a main character with seven personalities embedded in a graphical presentation that achieves the developer's dream of creating a work of postmodern art. And this year, we're not reducing the workload for the hardest working guy in the video game industry, Mario. Fresh from his starring performances on the golf links in the tennis court, Mario is taking on four new leading roles. First, he'll grab a glove and step onto the diamond in Mario Baseball. It's hitting and pitching with multiplayer elements for up to four competitors. Signature Mario action also moves on to the soccer pitch in Super Mario Strikers, where everything from his iconic shells to, his roving, to the roving chain chomps make this game of soccer unlike anything before. And Super Mario Strikers also features four-player action. 
Well, with all these workouts, of course, nobody deserves a party more than Mario. So that's what we're giving him in Mario Party 7. What makes this game different from its predecessors is not just the more than 80 new mini games, but a simultaneous eight player mode, new uses for the microphone, and a couple of new playable characters. And of course, when that party's winding down, Mario can still dance the night away as he makes his premiere in Dance Dance. <laughs> it's Dance Dance Revolution for Mario Mix. This franchise gets a brand new look with the characters and the backgrounds you know so well from Mario's universe. All told, this will be a banner year for Nintendo GameCube, so take a look. we have saved the best for last. Once again, Link is ready to storm into the game world. No doubt he is part of your own personal game history and part of your gamer's soul. Now, over the years, he has changed his appearance, but he has never changed his nature. Today, prepare to see Link as you've never seen him before.
Please welcome the producer of the Zelda series and the director of Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, Mr. A.G. Ayanuma. Thank you. Since you like the video, I have a present for you. Cha -da -da -da. <laughs> Can you see that? Yep. You will receive the video on the Nintendo DS card. When you pick up your press kit. Please enjoy it and thank you again. As we said at the outset, it's about exploring. This year, not just Zelda, but wireless Mario Kart, Nintendogs, and a slick new way to show off your portable passion. Then, beyond this year, a revolution awaits. We look forward to seeing you on the show floor tomorrow, and be prepared to let your right brain run wild. Thank you. <laughs>